Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new Safe Bar. We are jumping in again and this time, this time is the start of the streak, baby. I will say it every single time until it is true. It is the start of the streak. Um, We've got... Let's do, let's try and do Mother as Eve. We've not done a Mother run in quite some time. Um, I'd like to give it a go. I am going to take the enormous risk of immediately, um, immediately using my razor because I am a stupid. But we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. As for the question of the day today, ooh boy, ooh boy. Um, let's think of a good one. Hmm. Mm -mm. What is something that you see people buy daily that you would also like to buy daily but are too frugal to do? Because I do that all the time. I don't know how, how other people are with money, but I am way too frugal with, like, all of my money. I'll spend money on stupid shit all the time, but, like, certain stuff I just can't. Like, <clears throat> like a lot of people are, like, buy drinks every day and stuff like that, and I just, I can't do that. I, I used to, I used to drink Monster Energy drinks, and I used to eat, uh, eat, I used to drink one of those, like, every single day, and I've since stopped, mainly for money reasons, but also for health, I, I also just don't consume caffeine at all anymore, uh, I don't drink coffee, um, I don't, uh, drink Coke, ooh, baby, I don't actually know if having two of these does anything for us, it doesn't, damn, that would have been really cool. Right. Let's hope we don't die here, because um, I am one hit away from death right now. I'm going to do do these other rooms to try and get a heart from somewhere. Uh, secret room could very well be here, actually. Let me just uh, check on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's here. This could have a heart in it also, or it could have a boy. You see, baby? Oh, yes. Um, actually, do you know what? No, let's, let's, um, let's grab this one here. Let's come back through here. Do our cash room and then grab that black heart. How's about that? Chariot. It's a good for boss killing, I guess. Good for boss killing, I guess. We'll pop that there as well. Wow. I'm so happy with the uh, results that I've had so far here. They have been immense. Anyways, we're in a good spot health wise now because we've got a bit of protection. And we uh, still have the razor to make sure our red health is low. Which is good stuff. It's good stuff. I like that. These guys are notoriously awful. So let's uh, try and kill them before they get the chance to be awful. Extra key. Very, very nice. And we will continue forward. Um, But yeah, there's, there's, there's quite a lot of stuff that, like... Like... I don't know, like, nights out and stuff are something that I have a sort of weird relationship with. Like, oh, there's a lot of people um, my age and a few few people in my friend groups and stuff that will go on nights out, like, very regularly. Um, and I've never really been into nights out. I've never really understood the amount of spending. But also at the same time, if there's food involved, I will drop absolute bank. <laughs> the other like, the other weekend, um, well, for like four or five days, uh, our friends came over from um, our hometown. And we hosted them for a bit. And, um... Let's do... Actually, we'll use it on the next floor. Um, oh, you... I went to the wrong floor. It's fine. I can still I can still go down, Paul. I can still go down, Paul. It's fine. Um, I was just a bit stupid as all. Um, and do you know what? What am I doing? Let's, um, let's do this. Uh, and we ate so much food at so many different restaurants and stuff. We spent so much goddamn money, but oh my god. Food. Food is, is forever. Summon a, um, summon the Stargazer Beggar can only be charged with Soul Heart, similarly to, can only be used once per floor. That's not very good. Like, I'm not, I'm not gonna take that. Like, because the Stargazer Beggars cost seven, uh, seven coins per use, and it costs Soul Hearts to recharge? That seems, and considering they don't always pay up with items, that seems goddamn awful. <laughs> Just does not seem worth it at all. Okay, this is, this is annoying. As rooms go, that was an annoying one. We do get access to this, which I wasn't expecting. An extra black heart is rather nice here. Do you know what? Double troll bomb. Oh, I was going to say double troll bomb. Pretty good for doing some damage to him. Literally both missed. Okay. Excuse me, good sir. Stop 
getting your ghosty fella in the way. But yeah, so far, item room not so good. Um, at least we got money equals power. It's just a shame it doesn't stack. Like, I really would have thought it'd stack. I, I, I spoke about it a little bit a while ago, but I really, really wish that one day someone develops a mod that just makes more items stack correctly. Because the, there's, there's quite a lot of ways in the base game. Well, I say there's, there's not quite a lot. There's a few ways in the base game to make things stack, but then there's quite a lot of ways in modded to make things stack. And it'd just be great to see ways to enable that more often. Dude, these little ghosties are so goddamn annoying. The way that they move is just horrible for my brain. But today I've been, um, I've been toying with the idea and taking a look on scan.com to try and build a new PC. So I've had my PC for, for about four years now, maybe a little bit over four years. And it, it's getting a little bit sluggish. And I, when I bought it, it was only really mid-range. I think I, I'd be better off now buying like a top-of-the-range one. And also, I learned recently, like over the past few months, that the graphics card that I had, that I have now in my current PC, um, I when I bought it, I didn't know. But the version that I bought has a fault that is just like part of the card. The Like the version 2 of this same card had that fault fixed, but the version I currently have still has the fault. And um, with said fault, it just crashes sometimes. And I might get, my PC's been crashing like when I'm gaming a good amount. Certain games like Isaac never crash, but like Call of Duty does. Cyberpunk has, has Baldur's Gate was crashing a lot. Stuff like that, anything that's kind of graphically intense. Likes to crash, and I was trying to figure out what the hell was going on. I thought my PC was overheating. No, it just turns out I've got a faulty card, and there's nothing I can do about it, and it's way out of warranty. So it's kind of like, at this point, if I'm gonna get um, if I'm gonna get a new on use grants, look up for the current room. Look bonus is removed upon moving to a new room. Kind of interesting. Wait, does this does the razor blade only do half a heart of damage? Since when? Since when? What? What? I'm so confused by this. Okay, but yeah, I don't know how good this false idol is. It basically gives you eleven luck for one room, which I'm guessing just guarantees you get a room drop. Don't know how valuable that is, but eh, it could be good. I suppose. Um, technically, I can take one of these, right? Yeah, I don't know how good that is, but eh, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It seems intriguing, to say the least. You're going to be a nuisance, aren't you? That you are, good sir. That you are. Had a feeling you'd move once again. Oh, was not expecting this. Oh, this is kind of annoying. Oh god, you have spawned quite a few of those bad boys. But yes, I've been toying with the idea of building a new PC, um, and it's expensive. <laughs> like, PC parts are expensive right now. Um, so it's, it's it's a little scurry, but um, I think if I... Oh my god. If I play my cards right, I can get a pretty good PC, and I've got a friend that's really like knowledgeable about building PCs. Um... And so, he said he would help me out. Dude, the health ups are going crazy right now. So I'm guessing this is just something I want to use literally whenever it's ready. False idol. I don't know, if anyone's got like a better sort of idea slash use case for false idol, let me know. Because at the minute, I'm a little bit confused about it. It seems good, but like... Only having that look once every three rooms isn't amazing. <coughs> Although I guess it works really well with like um, tier modifiers and stuff. Really, you again? Oh, you can't believe you got away from that bomb. You scallywag. You scoundrel. Make sure we go down the right door this time. Don't be a big goose. Yeah, remember he can walk through walls and stuff and he can do that as well. Yeah, we're all good. We got a morbid heart there. We'll of course take Devil Deal here because we just have an insane amount to uh, give up. <laughs> hoping for at least one soul heart of all of this. Um, do you know what? Actually, I'm hoping for four spiders. 
come on. How dare you game? Anyways. We go. Soul heart, soul heart, soul heart, soul heart, you bastard. Um, Think I'm good to go. Think I'm good to go here. Right. Down we go. Down, down, down we go. Right. So, yeah, I guess you could have used this wherever, I guess. I just hope it does stuff. But, yeah. Oh, ooh, actually, okay, yeah. Now, already am I, I'm seeing the extra value. Because now, our um, void shots, whatever they're called, our black hole shots, little horn shots, are going to be more common, right? What the noise these guys make? It's very ominous. Sacrificial blood. Gotta love it. The backstabber thing's so good. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This will be the other version of Whore of Babylon, I'm fairly sure. Wait, there's enemies in here? Oh my god. Let's get the hell out of me. I've been stood there for so long, I was confused. I'll hold off until I've got more keys. But it's the other version of Whore of Babylon, um, which is intriguing. Excuse me, good sir. Okay, cool. Use it on this big room over here. Um, because the other version of Horror Babylon essentially gives us, I think it's, um, oh god. I think it gives us fire rate and speed. On oh, no, a fire rate and something else instead of speed. Oh my, I hate these enemies so much, my god. <laughs> kind of a rough room here. Not particularly happy with my current HP. Could easily die. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Quite sure what you did, but we got through it. Using a card will grant... Uh, with a number will grant a damage up. Ooh, okay. That's kind of interesting. Don't like you doing that attack specifically, my guy. Yeah, there you go. Good stuff. We did indeed get a soul heart. Lovely. And infinite keys, so glad I didn't spend my keys early. Um... Ooh, okay, so we want that first. Yeah, that first. And then this. Oh, we got my shadow out of it. Okay, not amazing, but pretty good. Okay, decently good stuff here. Currently got infinite horror Babylon as well, which is nice. Okay, there's our mirror room. Mirror room and uh, thingy room are kind of far. Um, right, so I will check in here just in case. I think it is going to be this, though. Yeah, I don't think I want it. I think the damage is better for us right now. As much as I like that alternate version. Right. Got curse room first here. Damn it. Cash room that requires us to uh, spend quite a lot. Is this secret room here? I think it is. Beautiful. Oh no, you broke the chest. Oh, we got a soul heart there as well. Lovely. Wasn't expecting that at all. Oh, we got another soul heart. Now money's climbing as well. That's good stuff. Uh, mirror room's back this way. You doof. You big doofus. Gotta be very, very careful going into that large room. Most of these other rooms are kind of piss easy, but this large room we're gonna be very careful about. Let's 
See, that's why. Okay, it just ended. It shouldn't have just ended, right? Why why did the little dudes not come out of the buckets? That's confusing. Anyways, we're good to go. Boss, I'm I'm somewhat confident on. Once we've got our active ready. Because it might not be the same champion version. It's not even the same champion version. That technically makes things easier, I think. Yeah, there you go. Nice and easy. Extra bar of soap. Gotta love that. Okay. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good about my decisions so far here. Right. Back through we go. And over to the boss. Do you know what? Let's do a little bit of min-maxing here. Let's do this. I meant to blow up that mirror, by the way. <clears throat> if you blow up the mirror, it gives you a higher chance of getting um, reflected items. Which is something I don't take advantage of enough. But it's pretty goddamn valuable. When I'm playing as the Lost and stuff, I should always, always do that. <clears throat> right, things are looking pretty good so far. We've got a good amount of health here. I do not like this idea. Okay, I got through it. <laughs> That was looking a bit sketchy. A little bit sketchy. One second. Right, let's keep this moving. Let's keep this grooving. But yeah, so far, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. We've got a reasonably good build. Um, pretty good health. And I kind of like this false idol thing. It's kind of interesting. And we've got nine lives as well. That's like a good addition. Again, I'm going to wait for keys on this. I'm not going to go for that straight away. I'm, lo I'm loving Backstabber as well. Backstabber's so goddamn good. I'm not even going to check the shop because... I don't, I don't know. Maybe I should. Nah, I'm not even going to check the shop. I want to keep my damage for my money. I'd rather. Right. One second again. Sorry, I'm pausing a lot. Right. Let's continue on. Sorry, I'm just talking to someone about building this PC. Um, excuse me? Oh, the button's here. <laughs> For a second there, I was like, um, what the hell? Okay, these guys are really good to bleed, because the more they move, the more damage they take, and they move a lot. They just kill themselves upon diving at me. I'm loving these, um... Sacrificial. Ooh, that was a good hit. Yeah, I'm loving all these sacrificial bloods. Right, through here. One sec. Sorry, I'm pausing a lot here, I realize. Goddamn, yeah, sorry, my friend just has like this... Uh, basically, he's just giving me some pretty amazing news. So, his PC was like... Three and a half grand, and I'm like, God damn, that's a bit too much for me. But he basically said that most of that cost was VAT, and I'm actually able to buy this PC through work, I'm pretty sure. And if you buy it through work, you can claim back the VAT, um, which means that I can get his the same build as him for quite a bit cheaper, which I'm very, very pleased about. Ow. Good hit, good piggy, sir. So this is one of the ones that will give us a fading damage, right? It said that um, with this trinket, based on the number, I'll get damage that fades away slowly. So we've got quite a few forms of fading damage here, which is kind of interesting. Oh, dude. Let's be more careful. Keep walking into things. Ooh, okay. So we've got milk or random. We could re-roll into one of the items we already have, which I think is a good idea. We could get another set of nine lives. Don't think that's super valuable. I don't think that thingy gives us it. So yeah, bar I'm pretty happy to get another bar of to be honest. And that's pretty, pretty goddamn advantageous. Careful, these bippity boobers bouncing about. I need to try and use my shadow a little more as well. 
Because my shadow is very, very strong now. Righty her. Let's go and pop this, pop that. Yeah, it gives us two damage. That's pretty good. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. My shadow doing some work. Uh, I don't think any of these are things we won. I don't know what this is, uh, but I don't think it's that amazing, and that's just backstabber. Uh, not backstabber, betrayal, so not that interested in that. We do get a bit of binky here, though. Love a bit of binky. Our fire rate is now in a very, very comfortable position. Um, I might as well go back and open up that double key room. Also, a secret room here, maybe? Yeah, but we still haven't... Still having issues with not having unlocked the, um, the, the proper spike rocks that have the cracked keys in them. Apparently, it's like... Tainted Apollyon Greed or something like that, I think. So I need to check if I've actually done that. But I think I have. Ooh, this is this was very, very worthwhile. Got my keys back and then some. Using runes will spawn once two rune shards. Eh, nah. I'm not, I'm preparing this card thing we got going on right now. And then I guess I could check out the um the dice room in case it's a it's a six room, unfortunately. I was hoping it'd be a five room. I'm not willing to reroll what I have right now. What I have right now is pretty spicy. Right. Anyways, let's move on down. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Oh, I, for I forget these guys are kind of tricky. These laser dudes, uh, they, they just killed themselves. Not 100% sure what happened there, but I'll accept instant death randomly. But yeah, like, is any of you out there like building PCs or have you built one recently? Because I know at the minute they're kind of at an all-time high in terms of how much they cost. Why did I use that? It's a bit stupid to use in this room. Gained luck up for no reason. What does this guy do? Oh, he dies. Okay, so they're just kind of passive while there's other enemies in the room. Seems like with one of these guys in the room, you should maybe add more enemies into the room. Because both of those, they didn't even get a chance to attack once. Seems a little pointless. Um, Whetstone over there. Chance for rocks to be replaced with spike rocks. Increased tier knockback. Nah, I think I'm okay for that, thanks. Ooh, that's very nice though. Very nice indeed. What card is this that we've got here that I've left? Oh. It's a ceremonial blood. It's not a card. It's a consumable, like a card. I actually really like this active. It's 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 like having a perfection that you can't lose, but you can you don't get all you don't get to use it all the time, but you can't lose it. Which I think is pretty darn useful. It means I can use it in boss rooms and long fights and stuff and still get the, the luck bonus without the risk of losing it in said fight. I have to kill this guy? Do you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not going around your stupid little traps. Ah! You're chasing at, at high speed. The body? Oh, you fuck. Oh my god, look. Look at the absolute unit I've become. <laughs> I thought it was the mind. I didn't think we had the body unlocked. Oh, dude. I didn't realize it was still alive. Okay, so we're, we're definitely in the market to trade away some HP if uh, the game would so let us. Although we did just get a devil deal last floor that we gave up. But look at the absolute unit I've become. The absolute thick lad. Look at my shoulders, man. <laughs> this is like the most like emo 
Eva's ever looked. Okay, we can at least use this. We did just get an IV bag, which would allow us to stay in this state if we wanted to, but I'm liking this too much. At least we got ourselves back into it, and we've skinnied down now. Our body has become normal again. <laughs> right, good old this dude. Okay, shouldn't have too much of a problem with him at all, I wouldn't think. Yeah, I dodged that just about. Oh my fuck. It's a good thing about my shadow. Enemies that actually chase you down and touch you. My shadow's gonna mess up. I got a chest out of that. There was, a, there was apparently a tinted rock nestled in there. Oh my god. Taking some very bad damage right now. Oh, dude, just open your fucking gob. I gotta make it harder than it has to be. Um, that's just another heart container. Did not want to touch that. Oops, thought it was a soul heart. Well, this puts us in a pit kind of rough position here, because we have to uh, do this. I'll take one of those to, for some safety. In fact, let me take this. There you go. Right, um, I'm going to go to my shop here because I have a credit card. I, I don't want to use the credit card on actual devil deals, so better use in the shop. Little bit spooked by my current HP, I'll be honest. Oh, we got Mysterious Gift. Nice. We'll keep that world card for the next floor. I'm sure to try for a second secret room real quick, because it looks like it could be here. Nah, it's not. Had to give it a go. Right, Gift. What might you give us on this joyous of days? You will give us Possum's Ear. Which I don't even remember what that does. Converts one heart container to a burn heart. This does allow us... That does allow us to lose our burn heart, our heart containers. So that's kind of useful. Kind of useful. Right, let's get out of here. To the next floor we go. By the way, for anyone wondering why I'm not doing the Mother Chase, for anyone that's new here, I have a mod that means that you don't have to do the Mother Chase. Because for one, I've done it a thousand times, it's getting a bit boring. And for two, it kind of lags the game when you're playing with mods on. So, I just want to avoid that. Anyways. Down we go. In a weird position here. Definitely a bit of a weird one. Right, open this up, check what's going on in here. Ooh, hello. Don't pick up those. Actually, I can pick up half. More money equals more damage. And we get ourselves fate, I think that is. That fate's pretty decent. We'll pop the world card now, which gives us a pretty hefty damage increase, actually. Wow. I'm liking having flight now. And... Even more damage. Keep it stacking. Unfortunately, do not have Spectral. Didn't want that. Thank God I didn't touch it. Very nice. Pop this in here. Little bit of a tricky room. I'm just very currently worried about my HP. My HP is just not not what I'd like it to be right now. I do have that burn heart protection, which is nice. That's not going to save me forever.
We get ourselves. Is that some sacrificial blood I heard? Yeah. Oh, hello. First of all, let's quickly check in here. Pretty worthwhile for soul hearts. There you go. More money. Give me the blood. I don't even know if the idol's really worth using in this room. Oh, dude, this is annoying as hell. Stop. Stop resummoning your kids. This is way too much resummoning. Got him in the end. Right. One up. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Certainly not a bad thing. Been a pretty smooth ride so far. Pretty smooth ride. Take care of these guys before they become a problem. I've got an owl in here somewhere. Where's the owl? There's the owl. Get out of here, owl. You're batshit crazy. Ooh. Ooh, pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Carolina Reaper. Aw, oh, modeling clear the... Hell. Y'all know how much I love my dearest modeling clear, but this... Um, works with luck for one, so really good with our luck thing. Um, and means that enemies take more damage, so really good on that front too. Room kind of worked itself out. Oh, and another, another soul heart. He pulled that into me. At least I got this prox for even more money. And we got a tower card, which is good because it's numbered. I think... I'm pretty sure I... I so that's either Cracked Orb or Cursed Eye. I... I'm pretty sure it's Cracked Orb. Yeah, because it was... I think Cursed Eye is smaller than that. I think that was some damage there we got out of that. Nice. I think it was worth it for a black heart, right? Oh, God. King Baby... Otherwise, I don't think I want anything from that. All right, we're going to use the tower card right before we enter the boss room in order to get that damage bonus and not have to deal with the actual bombs. So we come over here, we pop the tower, get a damage bonus, pop this. Unfortunately, the damage bonus we're not going to get much of. But this, this extra damage we get from the Carolina Reaper fires, plus Backstabber, actually, is going to be insane. Yeah, this is a very, very strong combo. Get some Tropicana. That's some good stuff right there. We are going to have an additional heart container filled on the next floor, so we're going to lose some damage. I'm going to take this just to get rid of the heart container. Although, wait, it just spent a burn heart. That's not what I was expecting to happen there. Anyways, I think we're going to lose Horror Babylon. No, wait, no. Wait. No? Yeah, we have lost it. We have lost it. That's confusing. We're only half a heart off of it, though, so any way to damage ourselves through our red hearts would be rather nice. Ugh, fucking crow enemies. Dude, this is the most frustrating enemy variant ever. That's not tanky as well, goddamn. Oh, hello, wasn't expecting you. But you also wasn't expecting me, was you? Ha ha ha. Oh, dude, the money. Money equals power has been so good. Imagine if money equals power stacked. Imagine if we had two times this damage up right now. It would be alarming how much damage we have. Balls of steel. Quite the pill there. 
Yeah, I, I don't even know what to do about this room. Whatever you are, I don't much like you. Don't want reflected. That's like the first reflected thing we've seen since we got the whole extra reflected items going on. Yeah, even without Horror Babylon, we're still our damage is still really, really good. Good. And then in here we've got... I think that's Tech X right there. Probably a good pickup. <laughs> and then I think we want to go for this. Because these have been pretty good to us so far. Prayer card. Unfortunately not what we're looking for right now. But yeah, Tech X. A little less interesting, but definitely... Oh god, didn't mean to step on that teleporter there. Um, okay. Just took damage over time there, I guess. Okay, bomb rock boys. A few golden bombs there, lovely. I actually think well, we were better off without Tech X, you know? <laughs> I think our shot speed is just too high for Tech X to be that good. No, it's, it's, it's pretty good. We're, we're not firing out as many of the fires as we were before. You got a GB bug here, I think that is. Um, I guess I'll take it. I've been getting GB bug a lot in secret rooms recently. Where over the past few episodes, I've had it like three times out of a secret room. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's definitely not bad. Right. We still have to hit the fires as well. And the, the, the hands are still doing their thing. Oh god, I forgot about this. Not get a devil deal, sadly. Take the negative. Right, try and get the fire on her. Unfortunately, I think we have lost the ability to backstab. Oh, no, no, we haven't. No, we haven't. Here you are bleeding. I was wrong about everything. Right, to the next floor. Yes, things are looking rather spice delicious right here. Open up all of these. We don't really need keys anymore. Don't want to spend money on that chest in case it doesn't give me the same amount back. Wasn't even sure it was the end of here, but I killed it. Really hoping we get Horror Babylon activated before we fight Mother. If only we could hold multiple of these, blo these bloods. Whole seven extra damage there, beautiful. Do not want to fight that guy. God damn it! I accidentally picked up another heart there. That's not what you want to see. Um, I will do this. I'd rather have more. Wait, no, I did that the wrong way around. I was like, I'd rather have more bombs. I already had more bombs. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah, no, no walking teeth. I do not like it when teeth get up and start walking. Wiggle worm? Nah, I'd rather keep this in case I get a card that, that works. Oh, to be fair, key beggar. Could have been good that I swapped my keys over here. Mm, or not. Go down to four keys. So much money. So much money! Okay, he isn't going to pay out again, is he, sir? So... Nope. Didn't think so. Oh, it's Mr. Dead. Nice. Mr. Dead is one of my favourite Fiend Folio bosses. 
Just a really cool stylized version of Mr. Fred. I love it. Such a good idea. Right, down we go. Looks like we're not going to get Horror Babylon activated in time, which is a, is a damn shame. But it is what it is. Just make sure we've got our space bar ready for the boss. Ooh, these guys are cool. Oh god, they split up into a lot of different bits. Wasn't expecting that. Where our boss at? Where our boss at? Where our boss at? Getting a lot of extra soul hearts. I like that. Feed on their pain. And the bleeding's lovely as well. I don't know how readily it will be able to activate that on Mother, but we'll see. Yeah, flight is super nice here. Ooh, that guy's kind of an interesting enemy. Wow, yeah, okay. Tech X is definitely better overall, I think, even with the high shot speed. It's just crushing everything. That's a bit disappointing, but... It is what it is. Oh, look, dude. If we'd had deep pockets, we'd have been fucking rolling in it. Absolutely rolling in it. Yeah, we're doing really good damage already. I don't think we're getting backstab activated on this phase, at least, but overall, this is good stuff. Overall, this is very good stuff. Good old beam. I wonder how many people have died to that beam on their first time fighting Mother. I wonder. I bet it's quite a few. I remember fighting Mother my first time and thinking, holy shit, this boss is literally impossible. And now it's like average Isaac boss fight. <laughs> Slightly harder than average, let's say. Anyways, we've, we've got this in the bag. There you go. Nice and easy. Very, very good. Very, very nice. Swipe that up very quickly. And hope you guys did enjoy this one. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.